Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another video. The car's in a bit of a tip this morning, but there's a method to it. We're gonna be doing some much needed car upgrades today that have been on the burner for far too long. I've done a few stealth camps now, as you guys have known, and there's a few things that are niggling me about the car, one of which is turning this double folding bed into a single because I don't actually sleep on the other side of the bed, so why do I need a double bed just to take up space? To also put a light strip on the top roof line of the car there, and to try and get some kind of permanent fixture for a curtain pole to go across here or a curtain string or something so I don't have to keep on slamming the curtains in the doors to keep it up. Let's go see if we can uh, drive around the roads a little bit and see if we can find someone who's willing to help me out. This guy on the left looks like he needs a job. Hello mate, you looking for a job? What's the pay like? I can buy you a bag of chips. Okay. So yeah, for those of you that haven't realized already, my dad's helping me out in today's video. We've got the window pads here. We've got the improvised curtain material here as well. Now, one little idea that we've had so far, which might actually mean that we don't have to go to B&Q, is my dad's got a roll of double-sided sticky tape that looks like it might just be able to stick to this foam here without having to use any super glue, fingers crossed. I don't really want to make any permanent changes if I can avoid it. And then I'll show you the front. The one pain that this car's got or hasn't got is it's got a handrail there on the passenger side, but it hasn't got one on the driver's side. Now that would have been a perfect place to put a curtain up from one end to the other. It doesn't look like it's gonna be possible using that. The foam that I've brought is from a company called Southern Foam. It's about three inches thick. I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys are interested in it. And we're gonna use a bread knife. <laughs> to try and cut it to the shape of this half of the bed here. Also as well, these little tabs on the windows here to attach the window covers. I'm gonna try and add a couple more little Velcro tabs to the side here, especially on these little side windows because I found that the window pads tend to come unstuck a little bit from the bottom and show a little bit of light bleed. So if I can try and fix that today as well, we should have a perfect stealth camper to go wherever we wanna go really. It messes up, it messes up, but <coughs> we're gonna just go for it. Right, should we get it in? Yeah. See what the fit's like? Okay. okay. Considering we've got a crappy bread knife, it cut quite well. I'm go in sideways. Watch your legs. Don't, don't, don't bang the leg. Right, I'll go around the other end. Okay. So we've still got about two inches there, which is fine. This is what I expected. I'd rather cut it bigger than smaller. If you if you look here, look. Yeah. If you um, you see there, like that gap. Yeah. I want to try and minimise that gap, really. But before what before I do any of that, let me just have a quick lie on it first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's Could actually, be. it's actually a little bit more comfier than the double. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's slightly more thicker, I think. I think the double was seven centimetres thick and this is three inches thick. So yeah. what's the difference between seven centimetres and three inches? Five feet. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the foam cut to shape. It's a little bit skewed in places. It's not exactly a perfect job, but then again, nothing on this car really has been. <laughs> it does overhang a little bit when the seat's in place. It's actually a rather nice sized bed. For anyone wondering how long the bed base is, I think it's just a bit longer than six foot three. Now I'm six foot three and with my shoes off, I can stretch out fully on that bed base. So for anyone thinking about converting a Renault Grand Scenic, the series three, you can get a full length bed in there. Which one's mine? Well, that one is yours. Oh, that's a nice tea. So we've encountered our first little snag trying to put these strip lights on the roof there. It's extremely difficult to get any sort of double-sided sticky tape to stick on the actual roof lining because it's like a foam carpet thing, whatever you want to call it. It literally 
just comes straight back off. Try and tape, see if that works. So Double I think side. it warrants a little trip to B&Q, see if we can get some slightly stronger tape with some bit of thicker... Double-sided tape, yeah. Yeah, yeah, some griller tape or something like that. I don't really want to put super glue on the roof if I can avoid it. But it has been able to stick the little light box, the little battery box on the side there. So whenever I need new batteries, just open it up, put some new batteries in. So that's all right, that's fixed there, that's fine. Right, let's head to B&Q, you ready? Yep. Well, there's some Gorilla products. Can you see double-sided sticky tape? So that's what I've decided to go for. Fingers crossed that clear tape will go on the ceiling quite nicely. And uh, we'll fix these lights on. We'll try give it a little go now in the car park at B&Q. Try that, see if it just sticks on there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Well, it feels sticky. It's double-sided, isn't it? Crystal clear mounting tape. Okay, right. Let's try. There. It's doing a better job than what the other one was doing. And there you go. Look but when that. it's all nice and dark in here, that's going to provide us a huge amount of light just to light up the surroundings. It's not a perfect job, but it'll do. And it'll add a nice little bit of mood lighting yep. to a camp, which would be quite cool. <laughs> not great. No, that ain't a solution. That's not a solution. Shutting between the two doors is easier than that. Ah. <sighs> The dilemma continues. So I've come to the conclusion that there's absolutely no way of fixing a curtain pole or any kind of string up into the top of the roof here without actually doing something that's very permanent and it's going to actually cause damage to the side of the roof line or the roof line in itself in the middle. Maybe someone can leave a comment below. What's your suggestions? How can I have an easy solution to pull in a blackout curtain across behind the seats. Right. <clears throat> Let's have a look at this then. <clears throat> See how well that now sticks on there. Oh, that's a lot better. Yeah? Yeah. Well, it actually stays in place now. We've got the window tabs on here. Hopefully stick on the pads a little bit better. We've cut the bed into a single bed now. I've still kept the double mattress that I got from Ikea because I probably will still do a bit of double bed camping at some point. But the double mattress is now folded up in my wardrobe and the other part of the bed is in my mum's garage. So when the summer months come, maybe we'll do the double bed again. But for the time being in the winter, I never really use the other side of the bed because it gets so cold. I just use the part that I'm currently lying on. And then the dilemma that we've still got, unfortunately, is the curtain rail. Please leave a comment below. Tell me what you think we can do at the front of the car there to put the curtains across instead of just shut them in the two doors. We really do have a solution to that because slamming it in the door all the time is really annoying. I guess I'll see you guys on the next camp. Mm -hmm.